This is Series 3, and it's the All-American Edition. It's a, it's a graded coin that's going to come out of here. Hopefully we pull one of the big monster graded coins. Seven times through for the owner name, seven times through for the dates. That's right. So in this break, you get a date. Not, not that kind of date. Here we go, lucky number seven. We're talking about like a year, a certain date, not like taking me out. Nobody's taking me out to dinner. It's the year. Oh, geez. So I hope you're not confused at all. If anybody thinks they were taking me out on a date, you are mistaken. So here goes the date random right here, and you'll be able to see which years you own in just a moment. Seven times through. Good luck, everybody. Mm -hmm. Lucky number seven. All right, so if, if we pull a coin and the date is not owed, it'll go to random between everybody in the break. But you can see we've got uh, 74, I think is the earliest date, maybe. No, no, we got 50s. I think 50, 1950 is the earliest date. And Greg has that one. And then that seems like a good spot Stephen K has. 2014 through present. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm starting to rip this thing open here. I better make sure everybody's able to see. And there are more spots here than what's showing. So I'll fix this. Okay, here we go. It's a graded coin. Graded coin. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. What's it going to be? MS-65 is a very high grade. I think it max it goes up to is MS-67 or something like that. This is a 1945 nickel. I think it was minted in Pennsylvania. I think that's what the P is for. I wonder how rare the Pennsylvania mint 1945 nickels are. You can certainly see the quality and condition that this nickel is in is outstanding condition. Outstanding. Nineteen forty five. Right after the war. Looks like a fine specimen. So, of course, nobody owns 1945. The year, the earliest year we were talking about it was 1950. So, this is going to go to random between everybody in the box spray. Let's do it. Here we go. Seven times through. Winners on top. Let's average seven for a 1945 nickel. Rated in an MS-65. 
Oh, seven times. Oop, I clicked that first one. Here's a random two, three. Okay, MS70 is a perfect grade. Okay. All right. Lucky number seven. Well, there you go, Jack T. Congratulations, Jack. After seven taps through, your name's on top of the list. Jack, you've just scored a graded coin, my man. Very nice looking nickel right there. That is a fine representation. Nice hit. So that wasn't one of the bigger hits. We're, we, we just popped open a case of these. And we're looking for the bigger hits to come out. Alden says that's like a $25 hit or something. $20 hit. So this one must just be a lot better. That's coming up next. There's only 100 total boxes. These are the big hits. So yeah, we want to see some of these. Also, there's hot boxes that have extra coins and mint errors. So we'll be on the lookout for that. All right, well, that was a fun coin rip anyway. Uh, always exciting. Jack, congratulations. Jumbo and Heritage have both sold out. So, wow, we're going to see which one we're going to do first. Looks like Heritage sold out uh, two minutes sooner than Jumbo. What's up, Jose? How you doing, man? What is up, my brother? My brother from another mother. So, um, I've got the next box popping up for you. Out of our case of Heritage, you can get into another box of this. It's box five out of the case. Hey man, pretty good. Just enjoying myself. Enjoying everything. <laughs> 